I'm in Abruzzo, a beautiful region of Italy, immersed between snowy mountains and a long coast with crystal clear water, where people, the people of Abruzzo, after a decade-long inspiring fight, have won an important battle against the oil industry. But now, big oil is sneakily fighting back. Allora, qui siamo in Abruzzo, Costa dei Trabocchi, una mattina del 2008 abbiamo visto spuntare una piattaforma. Siamo rimasti tutti quanti scioccati da questa visione. Abbiamo iniziato a fare tam tam, pescatori, cittadini, associazioni, eh, sindaci, perché era una cosa veramente terribile, mm, una bomba. Ombrina Mare was meant to have a big platform with six wells underneath it and there was going to be a gigantic ship that was going to be anchored here permanently and it was going to process all this crude oil full of impurities and toxic chemicals and this would have, you know, sent into our atmosphere tons of pollutants. So in my opinion, it would have been a terrible project all the way around. And also they were going to do fracking and acidizing and using aggressive chemicals that are actually banned in the UK, which is the home country of the company that wanted to drill this project. From a geological point of view this is a very fragile land. All the Adriatic coast is subject to earthquakes, flooding, erosion and when you extract hydrocarbon what you do you lower the ground level. This increases erosion for example and produces landslides. You can imagine the tourists coming here a summer and looking for the beaches and there is nothing because all the sand was washed away by erosion. People were very, very concerned about Insieme ai bambini della mia scuola abbiamo visto dalla finestra del nostro istituto sorgere la piattaforma Umbrina Mare. Abbiamo fatto molti studi a riguardo e poi contattato il sindaco e altri politici per, per saperne di più. E, e abbiamo anche poi raccolto le firme e, e partecipato a manifestazioni di protesta. We decided that the way to tackle this big problem was just to try to talk to the entire community and to turn this into a battle of all of us against oil drilling. And we started from you know, a handful of thousands of people at first and over time this turned into 20,000 and then 40,000. And the last one we had was in 2015 where 60,000 people from all over the country came to little Abruzzo. And this put a lot of pressure on the government, which eventually conceded. And in 2016, they passed a law that protects 12 miles of Italian shoreline all over the country against oil drilling. And that again is just a pure victory from the people. The Italian law banning oil drilling near the coast was an important victory of the people against the oil industry because it not only killed Ombrina Mare but also 30 other fossil fuel projects. But now the oil industry is fighting back, wielding a new weapon via a parallel justice system for corporations called ISDS. Rock Hopper, the UK oil company owning the Ombrina Mare project, is now suing Italy in a private arbitration tribunal claiming up to $350 million in compensation. This is more than seven times the money that Rock Hopper allegedly spent on Ombrina Mare, so the lawsuit could become a real cash cow for the company. Italian taxpayers, on the other hand, might be forced to pay a lot of money for actually doing the right thing, namely standing up against the dirty oil industry. The arbitration is a stab to my heart, personally. It's a stab, I think, to the heart of all the people of Abruzzo who fought against Ombrina Mare, and it's a stab to democracy. So the decent, honest thing would be for them to you know, accept what, as a you know, community, we have decided, and to just decide that Italy should not pay any kind of damages. It is wrong. Pace! Salute! E no, no petrolio! petrolio. And finally, I just want to tell the CEO of Rock Hopper Corporation, who was behind Ombrina Mare, that he's not welcome here. We have kicked out any and all oil companies that came before him, and if need be, we'll kick him out again. <laughs> <laughs>